located inside the historic George Stewart headquarters, once a place for business for hundreds of years, now a place to eat, drink, and be merry. Located inside the Stuart by Citrus is the Anko Pub and Kitchen. I'm here with my man Chaitya. He's the bartender, and he's got some great stuff to show us today. Hi, sir. How's it going, man? Good. Are you good? What you got for me today? Uh, we have a signature cocktail mojito. Okay. So you like? Yeah. Okay. Whip it up. Nothing like some fresh mint and rum to start your day. Cheers. So if you're at the Anko Pub and Kitchen, definitely check out my man Chaitya. He will hook you up with the best cocktails in the city. Thank you very much, my man. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm here with Miss Fanny, who is the manager of the Stuart by Citrus, as well as this Ankle Pub and Kitchen. And we're here on a very busy Friday night. How's it going, Fanny? Very good, yeah. Uh, the Stuart is like a business boutique hotel. So okay. we have 50 rooms and we have a Scottish pub downstairs. So usually it's quite busy on the weekends, as well on Thursday. So today we are having the street food as well, which we are participating every month at the end of the month. So if you want to taste our pork chops there, welcome. What are the most popular dishes here? What moves the fastest? People are usually coming for the burgers. Okay. So we have the dirty loaded burger. The dirty loaded burger. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The name speaks for itself. So <laughs> uh, it's a beef burger. Okay. But uh, it's very personal recipe to the from chef. Okay. We have the chicken burger. And we have also a challenge that is the monster burger. I've seen that. This yeah. huge, massive burger, huge right? Huge burger. Then uh, the ribs also, it's very famous. Uh, the pork chops. Okay. But the fish and chips definitely is one of the most famous. Things. Very British style fish and yeah, chips? Yeah, exactly. Nice. After the pies as well, for the people who love the pies, it's the place to come. Very cool, very cool. So we'll definitely try to try some of that stuff out while we're here at the Anko Pub and Kitchen at the Stewart by Citrus. I'm in the heart of the Anko Pub and Kitchen with executive chef Panduka Pereira, the head of the Citrus by Stewart. What are you going to be making this for us today, sir? So we are sir? going to make our dirty loaded burger, beef okay. burger. So, shall I start? Yes, please yes. do. So normally, it goes with coleslaw. Other burgers with coleslaw, but our coleslaw is a bit different. Okay. So this is with a beetroot coleslaw. I see that. It's got yeah, a little pink tinge pink to it. color, yeah. yeah. So it's beetroot coleslaw. Then we got a burger bun, lettuce, tomatoes, Fried egg, so we got the bacon. Then we got 200 grams of uh, minced beef. This is the imported meat. meat. Wow. We don't use any local meat. We use always the imported meat. Plus we got a caramelized onion. You can see the pulp Under over the there. Cheese, Under right? the cheese, wow. caramelized onion. Then cheese on top, gratinated cheese on top. 
Then this one goes here. Then we have fried onion rings. Wow. Top of that. Then we put the other part of the bun on top. The knife goes here. Stab it right through. Yep. And goes with chunky chips. Yeah. Very nice. Definitely a loaded, loaded yeah, burger. Loaded burger. Right? Thank you very much, Chef. I appreciate your Thanks. time. Thank you. So I am one happy camper. Chef Pereira has blessed us with so much amazing food. From the dirty loaded burger, which you saw us make in the kitchen itself, to the big city ribs, we got some hot butter calamari, some baby chicks, Aberdeen pie, fish and chips. I simply can't choose which one I'm gonna dig into, but I guess I got to, right? So I'm gonna start by digging into the free range chicks. This is absolutely amazing. We got some potatoes, some beans, some cauliflower, and of course, the free range chicken. Let's see how it goes. Dig into this right here. Got a little bit of potato, a little bit of cauliflower, little beans. Mmm, succulent, delicious. Absolutely fresh ingredients, perfectly cooked chicken, so juicy, so fresh. And the, and the sauces and the flavors with all the vegetables just complement it so perfectly. Next up, we got the traditional fish and chips, which according to Fanny is a fan favorite, a pub favorite, I might say. We got some flaky fish, some standard chips, and of course the chef's own tartar sauce, which looks absolutely delicious. Let's give this a shot right here. It's the money shot. So succulent, so fresh. The thin layer, layer of battering is just absolutely perfect, complements the fish perfectly, which is perfectly seasoned as well. And the chips to boot, doesn't get much better than this. So I couldn't possibly finish all this food alone. So I brought some friends along with me, including the marketing and PR manager, my friend Eric's here. What's up, man? Hi, how are you doing? What's nice up? to see you. Nice to see you too. Okay, and what's the proper way to eat this? Okay, so proper way would be, yeah, I pick your fork. Yeah, fork and a knife yes. and all that, right? Yeah, and, well, and, 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 yeah, so you, you just slip. Yeah, just kind of, yeah, just kind of, kind of normal right? I don't think, I don't think, but I think oh, it's Scottish pub, you right? Do, so I think, you, I'm just gonna, ah, I think I'm just exactly, gonna do Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You know, so That's how you enjoy yeah. good ribs. Delicious, delicious. Okay, so this is on the eighth floor. Okay. Uh, this is the boardroom which was actually used initially by George Stewart's the group. Really? So we give this boardroom up for for meetings and you know for for prior if they do prior reservations in terms they won't have a meeting then they won't have their lunch and stuff like that. So this boardroom is given up for uh, functions at different levels of functions and, and also for it's mainly for meetings. Yes. Yeah, man, so I was like I was telling the guy, bro, I wanted like one more drink. The man was telling me I had too much. Oh, hey, what's up, what's going on? So that was the Stuart by Citrus, including the Anko Puffin Kitchen, a historic location, and now the history is memories in good food, good vibes, and good times.